hey guys it's your girl cody here and i'm back with another video and i know i've waited so long but it's going to be worth it for today's video we're going to be making a star fruit juice or what we call jimbelin here in jamaica let me know in the comment section below what you call this fruit no because mine were, were a bit old, I had to cut off the outer sides, but usually I don't do that. So let's get right into the video. Now that we are done cleaning up our star fruit, we're going to now slice them up in sizes that they can go in the blender. Further down in the video, you'll see that I used a cutting board instead because I realized it was way easier. Well, not a cutting board, but a plate, but you get it. Now it's time to slice up our ginger. I'm not using a lot because I don't like ginger. It really burns my chest. So this is the portion that I'm using for mine. You can use more, it's all up to your preference here. In our blender, we're going to be adding in our star fruits. When we're done adding in our star fruits, we're going to be adding in our lime juice. I'm adding in one tablespoon of lime juice. You can use freshly squeezed lime or you can just use the one bought in the supermarket. If you don't have fresh ginger you can also use a ginger extract i'm going to be adding half a cup of sugar i'm not adding a lot because this particular star fruit it is sweet so you don't want to overpower it and have to add a lot of water which will dilute the taste of the fruit now that we've added in all our ingredients we're now going to add in two cups of water off camera i added in two cups and this is where it brought me now that we've added our lid we're going to start blending i blended for about five to eight minutes i started with a pulse and then i started to increase the speed We've done blending and we're now going to strain our mixture. You can use a strainer like me or you can use a cheesecloth. I decided to use a strainer if you don't mind the pulp. If you want it to be more refined, then please use a cheesecloth. After you're done straining, you want to taste it to see if it is as sweet as you're liking or you need to add more water. In my case, I needed to add more water. So I added water and I just mixed it and it's now time to pour out our juice because we're all done. Can you believe that? It only took a few minutes. This is optional, but you can add ice. I was going to drink it immediately, so I added ice. But if not, you can always put it in your refrigerator to cool and you're all set. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And I promise guys, my videos will be way more consistent. I'm planning on uploading every Thursday. So thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.